Hey, what's going on friends? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a whiteboard session on understanding how the UK income tax, national insurance and student loan works. In my opinion, every single adult should be able to pick up their monthly payslip and be able to figure out exactly whether they've overpaid or underpaid. Um, usually these things are correct, but there have been people in the past who've overpaid on taxes and were able to uh, claim back thousands and thousands of pounds. And even if there aren't any mistakes in your payslip, in my opinion, you know, this is one of those financial literacy basics that everyone should understand. And this video is for you, even if you hate maths, even if you're not good with numbers, I'm gonna explain it in a really easily to digest uh, uh, manner. So for this video, we're gonna be looking at if someone was earning 60,000 pounds a year, how much income tax uh, and how much national insurance and how much student loan they'll be paying on that figure to work out what our net pay, which is uh, essentially the money that we net in our pockets, our monthly take home pay. And I've broken this video down into three really small parts. Part one, we're gonna be looking at income tax. Part two, we're gonna be looking at national insurance. And part three, we're gonna be looking at student loan. So with that said, let's get right into income tax. So let's talk income tax. And this is actually really simple and really straightforward. What you need to understand is that there are four bands, which basically means at different uh, figures of your salary, you apply different tax brackets. Uh, the first band is what was called your personal allowance. And this is for this current tax year, it's 12,570 pound. You pay 0% tax. Essentially, basically what this means is you don't pay any taxes unless you've earned above £12,570, okay? So whatever we earn, we always take off our personal allowance first. The second band is your basic rate, and this is anything between £12,571 and £50,270, which is also an amount of £37,699 you pay 20% tax. The third band is what's called your higher rate. And at this rate, you pay 40% tax, which is the next 99,729 pound that you earn. And above that, you pay 45%. So what does this mean? So this allows us to look and calculate how much income tax would pay on 60K. So the way to do that is as follows. It's very simple. Number one, we remove our personal allowance. So I've taken off 12,570 pound off the 60K to get to our, it's also called your taxable income, okay? We don't pay tax uh, on the entire 60K. We pay tax on the 47,430 pound. That's the figure that we apply our tax on. The first 12,570 pound we net in our pockets. Then the next thing to do is uh, figure out, okay, how much tax do we pay on £47,430, which is somewhere between the basic rate and the higher rate, right? Because £47,430 is above your next amount and it's also under the higher amount. So the way we do that is the first £37,699 from this figure, we apply 20% tax. Anything above that, uh, which is in this example is 9,731 pound, we apply the higher rate, which is 40%, okay? These two figures together, um, we'll get to our taxable income of 47,000 pound, okay? So 20% at basic rate, uh, we get to the figure of 7,539 pound and uh, 80 pence. And we also need to pay 40% tax on the higher rate, which, uh, which leads to 3,892 pound and 40 pence. Now, if we, combine, if, if we combine these two together, we get to a total of 11,432 pound and 20 pence of, of income tax to be paid on a 60K salary. So again, really quickly, the first thing I did was I removed the personal allowance of the 60K, which leads to 47,430. This is our taxable income. We pay tax on this income. Then on the first 37,699 pound, we pay 20% tax. 
which is this amount. Then on the additional whatever that's left, we pay 40% tax because it falls under the higher rate. And then we combine these two figures together to get to our total uh, income tax of £11,432.20. This is obviously on a 60k salary. It would have been even easier if you earn, say, 30k because with 30k, again, the first thing that you do is you remove your personal allowance, which you pay 0% tax on. So um, 12,000 minus uh, the 30k minus 12,000 is somewhere around uh, between 17 and 18k. And that falls under, that's below the basic rate. Um, so for that, we pay 20% tax. Uh, we don't even need to go to higher rate and additional rate on that salary. So now we know uh, what our income tax is. I'm going to drop it down somewhere here and we're going to move over to national insurance, which actually follows a really, really similar structure. Then we're going to go to student loan. At the end, we'll be able to combine the uh, income tax, the national insurance and our student loan together in order to get to the total amount that will be left to take home on a 60k salary. So let's talk about national insurance, which is another type of tax just worded in a different way. Um, so I've put down the total income tax uh, somewhere here so we can use it later on, uh, which was £11,432. So the way national insurance works is quite similar to uh, income tax, but even simpler, you've got three bands. The first band is your personal allowance, which basically means um, you pay 0% national insurance on any amount that you earn between zero and £9,568, you pay 0% um, national insurance on. Then you've got your basic rate, which is any amount between £9,568 and £50,270, you pay 12% uh, national insurance contribution to. Uh, and this amount is essentially the difference between these two figures. Uh, and anything above that, you pay 2% uh, uh, national uh, insurance contributions. So the first thing that I've done, which is uh, minus the personal allowance from our salary, which is £9,568, which we, which we pay 0% national insurance on, which leaves us with £50,432. This is the figure that we pay national insurance contributions on. So on the first £40,702, we pay 12% national insurance contribution. And what's left of that to make up the £50,432, we pay 2% tax, which is £9,732. These two together, uh, the 40k and the 9k, um, combines to uh, or totals to a £50,432. So 12% uh, of this is £4,884.20 and 2% of this is £194.60. We then add these two figures together to get to our total national insurance contributions of £5,078.84 for the entire year. So the way the student loan works in the UK is that you don't pay uh, any student loan uh, contributions until you've hit the threshold and this year uh, and again they are talking about um, lowering down that threshold this year the threshold where you start paying towards your student loan is twenty seven thousand two hundred and ninety five pound and anything above that you pay uh, a flat uh, percentage of nine percent okay so not like uh, national insurance or income tax where there are different tiers uh, when it comes to student loan uh, any pound or any penny that you make above the threshold, you pay a flat fee of 9%. Whether you're making uh, an extra thousand or an extra million, you pay 9%. So the first thing to do is to work out uh, uh, when that uh, threshold kicks in. So what I've done is I've removed £27,295 uh, from the 60k which leaves us with £32,705. And this is the figure that we pay the 9% um, um, uh, student loan uh, contribution towards, which is £2,943. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up the student loan uh, payments with the tax income and the national insurance contributions in order to work out what our net pay will be 
on a 60k salary. So we've come to the end of the video and we've got one more thing to do, which is we need to work out what the total deductions will be so that we can get to our net total. So what I've done is I have uh, I put down my 60k gross salary, which is everything before you pay your income uh, tax, and I'm assuming it's been sitting on. on. And I had subtracted the £11,432 uh, of the total income tax we pay. And I've also subtracted the national insurance amount. And I have subtracted the student loan amount. Which brings us to a figure of a yearly net of £40,547. This is essentially our net pay. This is the amount that we get uh, paid total. Uh, over the course of 12 months then to work out what our monthly take home pay uh, would be is just that figure divided by 12 which is 3378 pound now a big caveat here um, that that monthly net won't be the same every single month because you don't have the exact same working days every single month so it's likely that your uh, february take home pay is less than your march take home pay now, if you get paid on a weekly basis, then it's just your yearly net divided by uh, 52 weeks to get to £779.75. Um, so isn't it super interesting that although on a, six, on a 60k salary, you almost give away 20k, right, to either uh, income tax, national insurance, or student loan. And obviously for, for those of you watching this video, you don't need, uh, who've already paid off their student loan, then obviously you don't need to add the student loan to it. So I hope this video was, uh, was useful um, and that you're not able to work out exactly the way your pay slip works. Obviously, remember that not everyone is on a 60K salary, so meaning um, that your uh, tax brackets will be in different bands. Let me know if you found this useful and let me know which topic you're meant to do a whiteboard session on next. For now, I hope you enjoyed that video. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.